So if you didn't hear about it already, Mojang has announced that every account that migrates from a Mojang account to a Microsoft account will receive a free cape. Now in today's video, I'm going to basically be explaining the cape as well as giving my thoughts on the cape and the sad ending to Optifine capes. Well, kinda I guess. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so I basically want to uh, kind of go into depth about uh, how to get these capes and how they're obtainable uh, for the people that don't really know or haven't heard about them yet. But for those of you that already do know about them, uh, please skip to this time on screen um, if you really want to, uh, to go to the next topic, uh, which goes into depth about uh, my opinions on these capes. So if you haven't heard about the migration capes, um, so basically the Mojang migration cape, uh, which is what people have been calling it, is a cape that all players uh, that migrate to a Microsoft account will receive um, as kind of like a reward type thing uh, that you get for migrating your account. New players and accounts that have uh, been made within like the last three months or so won't be able to get one of these capes uh, just due to the accounts already being made with a Microsoft account. But for those of you that are currently still using a Mojang account, uh, just be ready to migrate uh, your account very, very soon. So now I really want to take the time and discuss my opinions on these capes. Currently, uh, at the moment, I kind of have mixed feelings about them. And along with that, you know, comes their like pros and cons. So firstly, I think it's a very good idea to introduce a migration reward for the players that migrate their account, especially the veterans that have been playing the game for quite a bit of time. But what does that mean for players with Minecon capes? I currently have a Minecon 2016 cape, which I've had for quite a few years now. Um, and hearing that everybody uh, that migrates their account, which end up being a ton of people, uh, will all get a free cape. So to me, I kind of feel like um, within the Minecraft uh, community, capes are going to pretty much lose their popularity and rarity, but Minecon capes are going to rise up um, and become even rarer uh, than they were before, just due to the fact that uh, most players will have uh, almost like the same cape, and there's only gonna be a tiny bit of Minecon capes. But yeah, I do think it's uh, a great idea for Minecraft or Mojang to, uh, you know, kind of bring in this idea of uh, having players have their own cape, uh, but for people with Minecon capes, uh, such as myself, uh, the rarity is going to go up and popularity is, uh, you know, just kind of good kind of go down in the Minecraft community in terms of capes. But for players that already have Minecon capes, uh, their Minecon capes not going to go away, just to let you guys know. Basically two capes in total if they already have one, uh, basically meaning that they're going to have one migration cape and one Minecon cape. Uh, so in a total of two, unless they do have more capes, which is kind of a cool feature, uh, which you could toggle either cape. Um, just on the Minecraft page. But for me personally, I think I'm just going to keep wearing my Minecon 2016 cape just because I've had it on for quite a bit some time and, you know, just kind of taking it off and putting on a new one just, I don't know, it doesn't feel, it'd feel weird to uh, do that. So yeah, I think I'm just going to stick with my Minecon 2016 cape. But with all my opinions out of the way, I want to try to tackle the way Optifine capes are going to kind of die. So I had a last minute thought while coming up with the script of this video, and it was along the lines of how Optifine capes are going to kind of lose their popularity and slash or kind of die out. There's basically one main scenario to this, and the first one being that now since everyone has a cape, people will stop using their Optifine cape and stop the buying of Optifine products because of the new Mojang migration capes. Which in all honesty, something like this could play out. As well as a rumor about Mojang will release a new cape every year Minecraft turns another year old. Basically saying that there will be a cape for 2021, and another one for 2022, and then another one for 2023, and so on and so forth. But since I can't really see into the future, uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not too sure if Optifine capes will completely die out. Um, because of their customizable cape feature that Mojang does not have, but no one really knows. Maybe one day in the future Optifine will come out with a new cosmetic that everyone will want to buy. But yeah, that's basically it for this video. Uh, if you guys did enjoy, uh, make sure you guys uh, leave a like, and if you're new, subscribe. And without further ado, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.